Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're working on the slumber party uh, doll pattern. This is a pattern for dolls and it's got the sleeping bag, the pillow, and the eye mask, the sleeping eye mask. And Bo is over here ready to sew with us today. Um, so let's get started. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we gotta do is we gotta get this ribbon ready. Um, you need a ribbon for the, to tie the bottom when you roll up the sleeping bag, but if you want to, you can use ribbon also for the sides to close up the bag on the sides, and that's what the side marks are for. So if you're going to use ribbon, go ahead and put those on, but if you're not going to use ribbon, then you can use uh, some hook and loop or like Velcro stuff to close up the bag so you would only need the ribbons at the bottom when you roll it up and close it. Um, so I have my piece, I marked my ribbon placements with my uh, pattern piece, and so that's where my clips are at. The side ones are, like I said, for the tie in the sides. And then I'll put the two bottom ones right here on the one half for rolling up the bag. First of all, you need to go ahead and seal your ribbon. And I like to do that, like I just burn the edges a little tiny bit um, for so that the ribbon won't fray. I, I just, that just seals it so that way, you know, you don't have fraying ribbons all over the place afterwards. So I'm gonna do that for all of them. Starting to hurt my finger to <laughs> roll the uh, lighter. So I'm just gonna keep it on while I do all of them. All right, now, once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and pin my ribbons. This is the right side of my bag, so I want my ribbon to come out, so I'm just gonna let it stick out just a tiny bit outside the bag right here and place them all in all the way around on my different marks. Uh, for the bottom of the piece, I'm gonna go ahead and place the two right here in the middle of my one half. And um, you can go ahead and if you want to go and baste these down, before you sew it all together, you can do that. I don't think I'm gonna baste them down and you know, I always end up regretting these kind of things. Here comes Bo again. I always end up regretting these kind of things, but uh, sometimes, hold one second. Okay, sometimes what I do is I grab my, uh, hold on. I grab a pin and I pin it on the inside of my bag. So like my ribbon, it's pinned on so that it doesn't move when I go to sew it. So right here, I'm putting those pins. That way my ribbon is not gonna come off and I'm gonna be very upset when it doesn't get attached to my uh, sleeping bag. But so that's what I do. But if you wanna go ahead and do some uh, basting you're more than welcome to or if you just want to go and see what happens you can do that too sometimes what I'll do too is in, if I don't want to pin instead I just like kind of pull my ribbon a little bit out so that way I know when I'm sewing around it there's my ribbon make sure it doesn't move out of the way when I'm sewing it then we're gonna grab our so this is the right side of my liner and we're gonna grab our our uh, outer and I'm gonna put my bag right sides together. So the right side touching each other. And then we're going to go ahead and pin all or clip all the way around, pin or clip, it's up to you, whatever you like to use. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew all the way around the edges. And we're gonna leave a three inch gap where we're gonna turn it around. Now remember, your ribbons are in there. So first of all, make sure you catch your ribbons. Don't let them fall down. And second of all, if your ribbons are hanging out the back, like you need to make sure that they don't, they're not hanging out when you're sewing so that they don't get cut on the outside. You want them to be inside. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about in a minute because some of mine are hanging out down here at the, at the bottom because the bag was kind of folded down. See, they're hanging out. You wanna make sure they stick them in there. Don't get them caught when you're sewing, don't get them cut into the seam or anything like that. So let's go over to my sewing machine, to your sewing machine and sew it right sides together.
Now remember that you're leaving a gap right here for turning around. So I'm just not, I'm gonna stop right there and that's it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and trim those corners. And then we're gonna go ahead and go through that gap that we left and turn a bag right side out. Make sure that your iron is set at the right temperature. I'm gonna remove the pins that I put on, on the ones that I actually did put it on. And when you steam this little area where you did the, uh, left the gap, make sure your seam allowance is going inside so you can close it. I think I already said this, but I'm gonna say it again because in case I didn't. Make sure your iron is set on the right setting for the fabric that you're using, especially if you're using uh, fe uh, felt or if you're using some kind of fleece or uh, weatherproof fabric. I'm just using quilting cotton for the outer edge and I'm using a flannel like for the liner. So it can take some heat. So it's like flannel. These are all little threads, but yeah. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and top stitch all the way around. Whoop. Top stitch the top part. So not the bottom, don't top stitch the bottom yet. You top stitch around the edge, up the top, down the side. Uh, make sure your bibbins are out of the way as you're top stitching, and then we'll come back to top stitching the bottom and I'll show you how to do that. So here's my bottom ribbon. So this is my bottom of my bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my ribbons and I'm gonna stick them in first. And what I can do is I can go ahead and pin it now. And if you can't tell what I did, I'm gonna tell you what I did and you're gonna laugh at me. And that's okay, but maybe it'll help you. And it's okay, cause I'll just have a double line right there. It's fine, I'm fine, we're fine. Uh -huh. Once you pin this, this is my bottom where my ribbons are. You wanna open it up and make sure your ribbons are laying nice and straight so that way when you sew it, they're, they're looking nice, okay? What I did was I sewed the bottom, I did not sew the top. So when I told you to top stitch the, the top and the sides, I went, for some reason I didn't pay attention and I top stitch the bottom and, I mean, yeah, the bottom at the sides, but that's okay. I'm gonna top stitch this top open and then I'm gonna top stitch this again, closed right here at the bottom. And I'm gonna do like a back and forth right here at the corner so it stays shut. Cause that will give it the sleeping bag. You know how sleeping bags, they don't close all the way. They're like, they're closed at one side and open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. So let's go do that, but while I'm at it, I'm gonna start my pillowcase, my pillow, I'm sorry, because this one's so easy. So I've got my one side of my pillow, and here comes Bo again, trying to say hello, and I'm gonna put my other side right on top, right sides together, but he really wants to play today. Uh, he wants to sew. And then we're going to sew all the way around, but we're gonna leave a little gap right here to turn the whole thing around. So I'm gonna go see what Bo needs. I'm gonna come back and we're going to sew all the way around the pillowcase and I'm gonna go top stitch the actual top of my bag and then the bottom of my bag right sides together. All right, so I can top, I can clip all my little threads off my sleeping bag and my sleeping bag is done. All I need to do now is if you're doing the hook and loop method, then you want to make sure that you add that to the side right here for the enclosure and you can add as many as you want, as little as you want. It's up to you because I added the ribbons. I just tied my sleeping bag on the side. I kind of like the tying just because it's cute it like adds a little accent but if you didn't want the ribbons just the that other stuff will do or even snaps whatever you want to do right there okay and then my sleeping bag is done so we can close it 
however you want to close the sleeping bag. Cute, cute, cute. All right, so it looks like a little present. We're gonna put that aside. We're gonna grab our pillow. We're, uh, it's already sewn around, so I'm just clipping those corners. Okay, and then through that gap, I'm gonna flip it around. Flip it. Hook out the corners and steam it. Steaming that gap right there closed your seam allowance. Now you're gonna use some filling and you can use really whatever you wanna do to fill this pillow. You can even use the scraps. I used to crochet and crochet little animals. So, so I've got all this polyfill here that I had left over from other projects. So that's what I'm using. Um, even like felt or anything, like really just scraps, whatever you can shove in there to create your pillow and stuff it as much as you wanna stuff it to your little heart's content. And then we're gonna close that gap up and we're gonna go over to our sewing machine and just top stitch it closed. And I'm using pins because then um, I don't have to move them like clips. I know it's bad. You don't run over your clips with your sewing machine. You're not supposed to do that. Or you can hand stitch it closed. So we're just gonna go ahead and zoop, sew that together and our little pillow is done. So here's my pillow and here's my uh, Sleeping bag, so now let's go ahead and work on our pillowcase. All right, here's my pillowcase. And what I'm gonna do is one of the sides, wrong side, this is the wrong side of my fabric, I'm gonna turn it one fourth down and steam. And then I'm gonna turn it one fourth down again and steam again. And this is the opening of the pillow. So I want that opening to be, so it, fr so it won't fray. And I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch that down. Once I top stitch it, we're gonna fold it, the pillow right sides together. So we're top stitched that, we fold it right sides together, and we sew the other end, the other two edges. Choop, choop, and our pillow is done. So I'll go do that on my sewing machine. For our face mac, I'm gonna place my right side up of my liner, and I'm gonna place my ribbon right at the corner edge. And you can just like pin or clip or whatever and then I'm gonna place my other piece right on top and since I'm gonna leave a gap I'm just gonna let my elastic just hang out right here and I'm gonna sew my mask all the way around that raw edge leaving a gap to turn it on and I'm just gonna leave my let my elastic just hang out the top because just make sure you don't get it caught into the seams only on the places that you're supposed to and I'm gonna go back and forth on those just to make sure that they're nice and tight on there our pillowcase is done we're just gonna clip those corners and trim that thread and we'll turn it right side out and there's our pillowcase Super cute. And then, oh, I forgot to top stitch my pillow when I was over there. I'll go over there and top stitch it in a minute. But then we'll be able to fit our pillow in there. And then our mask has been sewn all the way around. Let me trim some of these things. Remember, I left that little gap at the top right here. And now we're gonna clip right here at the end and we're gonna make little clippings to help you with the turns, like those extra edges, okay? Once I've done that, then I grab this gap where I left it and turn it right side out. Once it's right side out, we're gonna grab our iron, we're gonna grab our seam allowance and turn it in and steam it down. And then I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine and top stitch the whole thing all the way around and also top stitch my pillow closed and we'll be done. 
All right, we are done. How cute are these? And my pillow, there's a thread. And my pillowcase, and stick my pillow inside my pillowcase. How cute, adorable. And my uh, sleeping bag, you know, all these things are just so cute to um, incite a young one's imagination. Like I love, 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 love all these little doll things. Um, they are so cute and I know um, they are loved and appreciated. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you had a great time. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did. Comment, like, share, subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Uh, come find us on Instagram and on uh, Facebook to see what everybody else is making and so you can inspire us with your makes. I hope you have a great rest of your time, uh, the re great rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. I'm gonna go play with this and give it to some little one who's going to love it. Bye.